guys, this is Erin, or Gimme Yarn 418, and I finished the knitting portion of the body of my sweater, and I'm getting ready to cut it, um, cut the steak, and I'm a little bit more nervous than I thought I was going to be, but um, Kristen's going to bring you around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Whee! Um, I haven't seen this specifically in any of the videos I've watched about steaking, but for my own safety, I've put just some recycled cardboard in between so that I don't cut through the back of my sweater because that probably would make me cry. Um, if you look down here, I knit the ribbing separately so I'm not steaking the ribbing, I'm only steaking the body, and here's where I did the bust increases, and then I went back to working in the round. I have so I put... I overcompensated in my steak stitches and I did five stitches on each side of the edge because um, I was nervous. I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I've seen a couple videos on how to do it and this yarn is very grabby so it shouldn't unravel. See that. Okay. So I wasn't going to anchor my steaks at all, but I got nervous right before we started to record this and my hands were shaking. And I went ahead and I did a slip stitch along the edge of each side just so that if my yarn does unravel, it won't, it'll be stopped by the slip stitches. This yarn shouldn't unravel though, because this is a rustic wool. It comes from the um, sheep farm in town and it's, it's very grabby and it should stay together. So I don't have steaking scissors. These are just the shortest, sharpest scissors that I have, and I'm going to use these. And um, what I have seen in the videos, oh my god, is to do it, to not rush, to do it one stitch at a time. So there's no going back. Okay. All right. Don't breathe. Oh my god. The fact that I spent a lot of hours knitting this sweater is not lost on me. Oops, and you see here I cut into the stitch, which it isn't a big deal because I gave myself as many stitches as I did, and I guess it is good that I did an anchor because it is unraveling slightly. So, you don't want to go into, which I have in a few cases, like right here. It's a good thing I anchored this. I put these anchor stitches are, are where I'm going to pick up to knit my ribbing, my edging, and then I'll carry it down into the ribbing that I didn't steak. Um, this isn't the best steak job by far, but I don't know why. 
But I'm getting that little ridge thing. Oh, you are, huh? That right there. Yeah. No, your hand's in the way. I know, I'm just flattening it, flattening it out. Yeah, this thing. Ooh. Is that, what's that called? Right the there. anchor stitches. Those are anchor stitches. So all I have left to do is pick up along these anchor stitches and knit the ribbing. Anchor stitches. <laughs> Which I think I'm going to do 24 rows, so it's the same length as the um, bottom rib and the cuff rib. And after I knit the ribbing, then I pick up all along the neckline, which is why this is on a cable. And um, I think I do some garter, garter rows for that. When that's done, I will anchor these steaks to the sweater um, somehow. I haven't gotten that far in the process. <laughs> Probably, I'll probably just sew them down. Some people use ribbon to cover it up, but I don't think that'll be necessary because the band is so... Wait, wait, wait. The button band is so wide. Those are anchor stitches. <laughs> so there is my um, first attempt at steaking. It was by no means perfect, but that is why I gave myself as many stitches for the steak as I did, and I'm glad I did, and the next time I did it, I would do the same thing, because I'm speedy, I guess, and I couldn't do it one stitch at a time, like they said that you should, and, um, but I would definitely do this again, so Maybe much. Maybe you should have used a seam ripper. No. <laughs> no. Well, what about the wrapping paper cutter? No! It wouldn't be shop enough. Shop, shop, shop. What about those... Kitty snips. Is that what they're called? Puppy snips? Puppy, I have puppy snips. We Whoa. Sent, we sent Bruno, Bruno kitty snips. Whoa. Um, I would definitely sneak again, though, to save all that time in purling, as long as it was a non-superwash animal fiber, because you want something that's going to grab. I, I would imagine you could do it with superwash also, but I'm not sure. So, I hope you enjoyed my sneaking demonstration. I'm going to go have, I don't drink, so I'm going to have coffee to kind of calm my nerves.